Welcome back. As promised, I am here for another video. Can you guys believe that? Um, so I am actually working on my journal that I want to use um, for scuba. And I have already done some of the first parts of it, just so this video is not as long as the video that was yesterday. Um, so what I have done is I have taken, uh, taken a piece of chipboard. Let me see. I've got a piece here. Um, I think this is medium weight chipboard. And I was able to use one sheet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I've done is I cut this down to seven inches this way. So I cut an inch and a half off. And then I cut five inches and five inches. So the five by seven are my front and back panels. And then I took that one and a half inch strip that I had cut off and I cut it at seven. So my spine is um, an inch and a half by seven. And I went ahead and put some of the um, score tape on it because I am going to use score tape and glue. And if I'm then, um, let me go ahead and give you the measurements for these. So these pieces here, I want them whenever I put it on my journal. It's going to be right there because I'm going to put something on the spine. I want about an inch all the way around. So I cut these at six inches by nine inches. So I have two six inches by nine inch panels. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, the part that's going to cover the spine on the outside here. So after I put my covers down like this, I have a piece that is cut at three inches by seven inches. And that's for my outside. And then for my inside, I have, um, it's like six and seven eighths by four and three quarters. And then this piece here is three by seven. And it'll all make sense in just a minute. So let's just go ahead and start putting um, our cover together. Um, I just wanted something that I can kind of document all of my, um, my dives and, you know, when I, if I have photos that I want to put in there, um, if I want to put anything in particular about my dive, um, that's what I kind of want this little journal for. Um, and it looks like this is going to take me forever. So I will probably have to speed this part of the video up because I didn't bring my little pick tool in here. Let's see if I can get this done. If it's going to take too long, I absolutely will just pause it and do um, pull the stuff off off camera and then come right back. So that might be the best thing for me to do. Let me do that and I will be right back, guys. Okay, so I've got the first side pulled off and it literally, once I turned the camera off, it took me just a couple seconds because, you know, it's only when I'm on camera that I, I just, I don't know. I, can't seem to get it done right, but oh well, at least we got it now. So I like to use my score tape and Fabri-Tac. I just feel like I have a little bit more control of it and, you know, it feel like it'll last a little longer. All right, so I'm just trying to look and see where that fold is. And I kind of want to just get it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to get it as even as I can. And so I'm just kind of looking and the one thing when you use um, glue tape, I'm, listen at me, score tape and glue is you have just a little bit of time to kind of wiggle it around if you need to. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of this off so that when I bend it over, I'm not going to have a whole ton of excess. And then I'm just going to take my little scoring tool and just go right alongside the, um, the cover there and just kind of 
mark that paid um, that cardstock a little bit just to kind of go ahead and start breaking it down so it'll be easier to fold. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold it. We're not going to actually glue this part down just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get that fold in there. And if you haven't seen me put together a journal cover yet, um, I do have several videos on my channel, so um, definitely check those out if you have some questions about that. So now what I'm going to do, because I'm sure I can't do this one on camera, I'm sure it was going to be just like the last one was, but let's just see. We'll try it. If it doesn't take but just a second, we'll go ahead and do it right here. Well, maybe it's not going to take long. Okay. All right. Well, that's going a little easier than I thought. So I guess we're good. All right. We're good. All right. So we got that. And so I want to put glue down on this side as well. And I don't have um, score tape on the spine yet because some of it will actually go on the paper, but um, I'm actually going to put my tape on the um, paper instead of on here, just so that I can make sure that I've got it where it needs to go. And then, you know, like if I were to misalign it, I wouldn't have some of the um, score tape sticking out from underneath the paper or, I don't know, I just have to figure out, you know, I'm kind of crazy. So again, I'm just trying to line it up as easy evenly as I can and if I can't get it you know done exactly the right way I'm okay because it doesn't have to be perfect because of the type of paper I use and you know we'll be covering some of it and again I'm just going to trim a little bit of this off so we don't have quite as much bulk in there And then just go down along the sides of that cover. Just kind of, you know, I'm just starting to break up some of the fibers in that paper. And I'm excited about this little book. I'm hoping it'll be small enough that I can take it with me when I go on dives so that when I get back to the hotel, I can kind of journal about it. Okay, so that's going to be the cover. So let's do this. So see, this is going to go right here, and it will cover up that raw edge that you see. All right, so let's go ahead and put the score tape on here. And somewhere I've had the end. I just, I like to use score tape and glue because it just gives me that, um, little added sense of security, I guess you could say. It, I'm sure that it is not necessary by no means, but you guys know that I'm a little bit extra. So I'm just making sure that I get it really good around the um, outside edges. As close to the edge as I can. And then I'll put a strip right here. And I'll put one in the middle. And then one more right here. All right. Now let's see how that looks. Now let's see if we can get this off. I'm just going to make sure that it's down there really good. Now, y'all know I have troubles with this, especially since the camera's running. But we are going to attempt it. Because me editing videos just is too much. I mean, I might have to, but if I don't have to, I don't want to. Because that's when, that's when I get in trouble. It's when I have to edit the videos, and then I'm like, I really don't feel like it. And then I just keep putting it off, and then, yeah. I know I'm not, please tell me I'm not the only one that's like that. Okay, that didn't take too bad too long whatever I can't even talk all right so now I'm just going to take some glue and glue myself stick myself to the paper all right 
so here is where I do want to try and get it I'm going to try and center that up as best as I can and then ah, I didn't do it right see that did I get it now it looks like I did see that's why I like to use the glue because if that had just been score tape that would have been it that would have been the end of it all right so there's that so now we can move on to this part and so how I am going to do this I normally go right here and I will put a piece of score tape right here on the edge of the inside maybe that score tape's all messed up you know what we're going to do we're going to tear that little piece off because I do not want it messing my book up and then we're going to go right here and try that again so we're just going to go on these three sides and put it like that go ahead and do it on this side as well and we'll do this side and then this one all right so once I do that then I go on the top edge I guess you'd call it of the um, paper from the outside and I put a small piece of the score tape and if I you know normally I'll use like a thinner tape when I'm doing this part and I have thinner tape but I'm just you know being me I'm just being lazy and didn't feel like having all that out so there's that so just use whatever you have it's not gonna make a difference all right and then we still have this one so we will do it on here all right, so let's start with now whenever I'm doing this I either start with the sides or the top and bottom um, but you don't go top side bottom you want to do one or the other so since I've already got this here we're going to go ahead and start here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the score tape backing off of this piece here and off of this piece right here then I'll take my glue and I want to make sure that I get some glue right there right there in that crevice and then I'm just going to put a bunch of glue right here not a whole lot y'all know what I mean and then I can see that it'll come over into this so I want to go ahead and pull this little piece up and then I'm going to take and just get that down there really good and then burnish that and that gives us a nice looking little fold there on the bottom so now I'm going to go to the top part here and I'm going to pull this off and just be careful because remember we've got the um, backing off of that piece of score tape on the side over here so don't get stuck in it like I normally end up doing and the way this is going I'm oh my goodness there's got to be some look and I always get stuck in my score tape and glue always so I'm sure that it will happen at some point today it would not be a video of mine if I didn't all right so we're going to do the same thing just push it over nice and tight and then just burnish it down there we go so now let's move on to the side of this one so we've already got the backing off right there and I do see that I'm over a little bit right here so I kind of want to just trim that and then pull the backing off of this little piece of tape and we're going to do the same thing with our glue ah, and I just glued my desk which I'll end up gluing my papers to my desk That's why my desk looks so bad. I'm always doing stuff like that. All right. 
And there's that. And so see the way that we cut it, you don't see it, it lines up and it don't, um, you're not seeing any of the cardboard. And so there it is right there. So now let's move on to this part here. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. Just going to pull that off and pull that off. Maybe I was pulling the score tape off and we'll go ahead and pull this piece of score tape right here the backing. Now let's just cover this. And push that down. Burnish that really good. And then go to this top or bottom, whatever it is. I don't even know. I can't even tell right this minute. But you know, you know what I mean. The little shorty short side like me. And then pull this up. Maybe it was going too good, guys. I knew it would have this. There we go. I got it. Ha ha. And then put some more glue there. Make sure you get glue on your desk. If you're going to do it just like me, you have to get glue all over your desk. All right. And then burnish that. And now we have this one little... Guys, I'm making such a mess. And then we'll try and pull this little piece of score tape backing up. If I had my the correct tool that I left in the other room, it would be a breeze. And I probably should have just went and got it. But... Guys, y'all know how I am. All right, so now we're just going to push this down like this. All right, there we go. So now you can see, look at that. Isn't that cute already? Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is... This, um, this is the piece that I've chosen to go on the inside here, and it looks like I've cut it too short, and I'm not, unless I got the wrong one. No, that was the one I had done. So let me go ahead and cut another piece, because I'm not about to try and have it too short. So I want it, we're going to do it, let me get some of this out of the way. These things like to do static cling and get to me and then that's where they just kind of stay so i think i'm going to do this at three inches and i think it needs to be seven i mean it needs to be seven so you know what i'm gonna do i want to make sure so i'm just gonna line it up here and here and then kind of crease it so that I can make sure. And let's see where that takes us to. I know I do crazy measurements. Now it looks like it might need to be a little bit longer. So we're going to go like seven and one eighth. Now let's see where that brings us to. It's a smidgen too long, I think. But we can trim that if we need to. All right, so let me um, glue this down. And so the same thing, I'm going to do score tape. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to score this um, to where when I put it in, show you let me show you maybe I mean I hope I'm hope it's gonna work the way I'm thinking it will so I'm just gonna score three quarters of an inch in on each side and that will give me an inch and a half in the middle because if you remember my spine is an inch and a half so I hope I'm not messing up but we'll see This is my thought process. 
I'm just trying to make it to where it'll be easier to um, manipulate whenever I open the book up or close the book I should say but we'll see all right so right this second I'm just going to put score tape on that inch and a half area there and hope I'm doing this right because I may just be making the biggest mess you ever want to see who knows but at least if I'm doing it like this and it doesn't work, you guys will know that it don't work. So don't follow me. But if it works, I'm giving you a good idea. All right. So I need to pull this backing off somehow. Now this stuff is not liking me today. It really isn't. But that's okay because I'm not really liking it today either. So feelings are mutual there, buddy. Okay. There we go. So let's put some glue here because we're going to need that wiggle room, I am sure. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Make sure my anchors are this way up. Which way is my book going? This way. Okay. So I am kind of like folding it in. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to line it up perfectly with that spine and it looks like I actually got it that's a little hard to believe but it really does look like I got it guys miracles never cease oh and you might got you know what I just realized I do have Tyvek um I have a Tyvek envelope that I put on the spine I didn't even think to tell you guys that I always try to put Tyvek or fabric or something on the um on my spines just to give them a little bit of strength i normally use i have tyvek tape that i like to use but um if i've received mail in like a priority mail envelope or a tyvek envelope i'll just cut that envelope up and use that um, because that tyvek tape can be quite pricey but it is worth it because um you know if it keeps your journal your spine from you know being too weak or something like that but if you don't have the Tyvek tape and you do get mail like in a priority mail envelope just cut that envelope up and use it all right so I'm putting some um, glue down in that space right there because I had left some space between the cover and the spine just so that it would fold good and then I'm just going along right there and putting some um, glue and then folding that down and then I'm going to kind of make sure that it gets down in that fold area and then burnish it and I can see that we're going to have a little bit to cut off at the top but I'm good with that and then let's just see yeah that looks good now we need to do the same thing to this side Again, just pull this off so in today's video it's probably just going to be getting the cover ready because I can see it's taking me longer than I thought it would. But at least we'll have it done. And then tomorrow we can start, um, you know, working on the inside, getting our signatures, getting papers picked out and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. All right. So I've done the same thing. I just put some glue down in that space there of the spine. And so I want to take, again, I want to take my um, foam folder and just make sure that my paper gets down in that spine and then get it like that. And there's that. Okay, and I'll go back in and cut that off. Let me see. I don't know if I can cut it off right now. Let's attempt it. I don't want to cut something that I shouldn't be and I feel like I am but all right so there's that now these are my panels that I had um, made that were the um, six and seven eighths by four and three quarters and so you'll see you'll be able to see a little bit on each side and that's kind of how I wanted it. So let me go ahead and put some tape on those. 
and then we will get them put in place and then we will call it a day for this because it just takes but you want to make sure that your cover is done the way that you want it make sure everything's done properly um you know because especially if it's something that you're selling or gifting to somebody you want it to look nice um you know like if this one if i've got mess ups on it it's not that big of a deal because it's my personal one um, but I still actually want it to look nice, you know, I don't want it to be just like thrown together type thing. I do want it to look nice because it's going to be where I record all of the information about my dives and that kind of stuff. So I want it, I want it to be nice so that I can look back at it, you know, years down the road after I've done 500 dives or something and just kind of look and see where my thoughts were and to see where I was at or you know where I am right now I think that'll be fun so let's get that all right move that one to the side let's make sure these are burnished down good and let's attempt to get this back off without me having to go off camera but if I do I will all right there's one and remember try not to get yourself stuck in the score tape because i can do it very quickly and easily and i do it so many times you got if y'all only knew how many times i've stuck myself to score tape or glued myself to the table um i'm just like really um what do you call it clumsy i don't know if that's the word that i'm looking for but not very coordinated at some of the stuff how about that all right so now let's put some glue on this we want to make sure we get it like near the edges because we don't want it peeling up on us and i all i know i use way more glue than i need to i realize that guys i know that but I'm always going to, I always have, and I always will, and I, even though I will try to talk myself out of using so much glue, I still will. And so I'm just going to try and make it look centered as best as I can. And there's that part. Oh, that's looking cute. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. Mm, I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. And let's just make sure this is burnished down real good. And now let's get our little, whatever you want to call these things. I think they're tweezers for like, they may be tweezers for vinyl or something. I don't remember. I don't even know where I got them from. I just seen them on my desk. So I figured I'd use them. So we're just pulling that off. Ah, don't do that. Y'all see that? It wanted to stick back down to the tape. Ah, I knew I was going to stick myself to the tape. I knew it. It was only a matter of time. Come on. There you go. All right. Almost done for the day. Um, ah, I got glue all over my fingers. Great goodness. Okay. So let's get this glued down. Next, we will be picking papers to put in here, and I will probably, I don't know, we'll deal with it tomorrow. All right, so there's that. Now let's try and see if we can get it halfway even. And voila there we go i think we accomplished it all right guys so that is going to be it for today so we have got our cover pretty much prepared um you know we will decorate it up and all but look at the inside that really does look very nautical i'm excited i cannot wait to finish this one all right guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching me um 
if you have made it to this point in the video leave me an emoji like either a boat or an anchor um, or water you know something to do with water so yeah thank you guys so much i appreciate you all and i will see you all tomorrow bye guys